Hi, I'm George, and in this video, we'll be doing an automated furnace, as you see right back there, right behind me. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well, and also click on subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my channel. I have a whole bunch of other Minecraft videos there as well. Okay, let's get to it. As you get further into Minecraft, you're going to want to begin to build some time-saving devices. And one of the best ones to build early on is an automated furnace. The reason for that is you'll be getting a lot of ore, mostly iron ore. And you want to have that iron ore for everything that you're going to be building with that. All of your tools and weapons and so forth, your armor, all those kind of things need that iron ore. And you'll be getting a lot of iron ore and then smelt that into iron. Now, as you're mining, you'll also be getting a ton of cobblestone. By itself, it's not so hot, but if you put that into a furnace and smelt it, it goes back into stone again, and you can smelt it a second time and really improve the look as well, making it a much more attractive building block. Let's now go back and take a look and see what's going on back there with that furnace. It's a pretty straightforward design, and it uses these storage chests, one here, one here, and then these hoppers. There's one hopper here, two hoppers, three hoppers. There's the furnace, and then there's a chest at the bottom. Now the hoppers kind of work like funnels, and they funnel things from what's on top into what's underneath. Now the very top up here, this is where I'm placing in my iron ore. I'll just do it like that. There we go, iron ore. That's how it's grabbing it right away, and it's actually pulling it right down into the furnace. And it's going pretty fast. On the left-hand side over here, this one is holding coal. I'll just toss some coal in there. And that then feeds coal into the furnace. So the top one is feeding what I'm smelting. The second one here is feeding in the fuel for the furnace and it's feeding it from the side. If I click into the furnace here, you'll see there is the iron ore and there is the coal. Notice as it's smelting though, it doesn't go over here as you would expect. It doesn't even go anywhere, it just kind of disappears. What's happening is this hopper is taking anything that's being smelted and putting it into the chest right underneath. And there we go. We have 51 iron ingots sitting down here in that bottom chest. That's what it's doing is just kind of taking it from up here and feeding it down and into that bottom chest right there. Okay, see how we can put this whole thing together. It's pretty straightforward. I'll just go right over here. First, we'll stop off at the crafting table. Go inside here. Now we need to make funnels. For my setup, I need to have three of those hoppers, which act again like a funnel, funneling from the top container into the bottom container. And for that, we need to have a chest. Put that right in the middle, just one chest, just like that and then put iron around that in kind of that funnel shape. And that gives you your hopper right there. So it kind of has a, a V shape with a chest in the middle, and that's your hopper. So pretty straightforward. Now to set this up, I have a basic wall set up right here, so I can kind of put it all here. I'll start off with a double chest at the bottom, right like that. There we go, double chest at the bottom. Now above that, up one spot right here, I'll put the furnace right there. Now I need to have one of these hoppers going from the furnace into this chest. This will then be taking the output from the furnace and putting it into this chest. Now if you right click on a furnace, you get that. If you right click on the chest, you get this. So you need to right click to place the hopper. So the way you do that is you go into sneak mode. Hold the shift key down, go into sneak mode and right click with the shift key held down. Now this will feed from the top and feed out to the bottom. Now above this, up here, go up one extra block. I want to have a hopper way up there. And then this is going to be feeding down into the furnace here. So same thing. Hold the shift key down and right click and that puts that hopper on top. On the left hand side, I'll go right here. Now I want this hopper feeding in from the side. So to get that, let's walk over here a little bit. And I'm going to click on the side here. Same thing again, hold the shift key down and then click on the side and that puts that hopper in feeding into the side of the furnace. Okay, so that's our basic setup right there. So we have a chest at the bottom and a hopper, furnace in the middle, on the side, a chest and hopper, and on the top, a chest and hopper. Kind of hard to see that top chest, but there it is up there. Now I'm going to right click on that chest. Let's open that one up. And I'll put my ore in here so the top one contains your ore. Notice that it's dropping down real fast right now. That's because it's feeding into the furnace. So it's actually feeding now from that top chest and down into the furnace. 
and it'll just feed everything right down here until this fills up, which is 64. Now, the nice thing about this is I can put a whole bunch of ore up here, just fill this whole thing up with ore, and as it runs out, and as a furnace uses up that ore, it's going to then feed that ore right down into the furnace as the furnace has room to take it. Okay, we now need to have over here our fuel. Same thing, I'll open this one up, put the fuel up here, and automatically it begins to feed the fuel into the furnace. You can see it going on right there, and as it feeds it in, there it is, and it's also smelting right away. And notice again, it's not going over here at all. Nothing is showing up on the right-hand side, which means that the furnace is now dropping into that hopper the iron ingots, and those are going right down here through this hopper, right down, and there they are ending up in this bottom chest. Now, normally in a furnace, you have just the one spot, and it can only take 64, whatever it is that you're smelting, and then it runs out of space. In this case, we have 64 times all of these, so we can let this thing just go ahead and run for a long time. It'll just fill up this whole chest, and then as we have time, we can come back and then take things out of that chest and move it over into our storage system. So there you go. That's how you set up an automated furnace. This will save you a lot of time when you're doing a lot of smelting. And again, be doing a lot of this. I normally do a lot of smelting for the iron ore into the iron ingots. And I also do a lot of smelting of cobblestone, taking it back into stone and then into smooth stone, which is a much nicer looking building material. So there it is. I have one running back there. And of course, I'll be taking this one down after this video is finished. But that's the basic layout. Just take a look at it back here again, real easy to see on this wall. Furnace in the middle, on top a chest and hopper. Left side, chest and hopper. On this side here, you put the hopper in on the furnace and then it attaches to the chest. And then a hopper and a double chest down below. And there we go, a nice automated furnace which will really help speed up the whole process of converting your ore into the final output, in this case, the iron ingots. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also make sure you hit that share as well and subscribe. And for a lot more Minecraft videos, take a look at my channel and I'll see you next time.